some of the like honestly some of the baddest women i know yeah have been through the wildest shit Whoa. you wouldn't even believe as in it's almost like a curse of being bad but let me tell you <laughs> one thing yeah do you not think that it's always the most ugliest guys that do the ugliest things i'm sorry mm. that's why you can't date ugly men you know <laughs> Because they don't love themselves. So what you think? What do you think they're gonna do to you? They're gonna abuse you. Yo, beautiful people. Welcome back to With Koi. Now, guys, you know over here we only have two rules. Rule number one: whatever my guest does, I must do too. And rule number two: my guest has one opportunity to say change the conversation. The moment they do that, I must change the conversation. No questions asked. Now, guys, the guest I have here today. <laughs> There's not enough letters in the hey. alphabet to describe this one, you know what I mean? I'm really, really excited and she did not disappoint a truly, uh, a truly exciting conversation. And we double dosed it for you. So if you head over to her channel, there's even more layers and levels to uncover with her. I'm introducing I am DDB. <laughs> this is the quietest she's gonna be this whole episode. <laughs> Thank you, friend. <laughs> Yo, beautiful people, this show contains banter, personal experiences and different opinions. If you are allergic to any of the above, we recommend going outside and touching grass immediately. The grassier, the better. We're rooting for you. Now enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> are you ready? Go. Um, all right, so we're going to do score short, right? This is, I feel like you're going to do good on this one. I hope so. I feel like you're a fearless lion. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this game is very, very, very simple, yeah? I'm going to ask you a series of questions, okay? Now, you can either tell me the truth or be a pussy and take a shot. Damn. Yeah, yeah, okay. like that. But whatever you do, i got to do. If I don't answer If you don't want to answer it, then you take the shot. Okay, got you. If you don't, there's no line over here. Pussy if you don't want to answer it, you take the shot. The, yeah. get, the goal is to answer as many questions. Okay, great, let's go. Pussy. Okay, cool. All right, then, let's go. What you gonna do? How much money did you make last year? <sighs> take the shot. Or you're gonna answer the question. We're taking the shot. All right. There we go. She said, don't have your nose in my pocket. Yeah, don't watch my pocket. Or watch the episode on her channel. All right then. What age did you lose your virginity? Oh, oh we're drinking. We're drinking the 14. whole way through. 14? Mm -hmm. Can anyone out there call you a bully? No, because anyone are bullied, they are bullied because they bully me first. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> Have you ever cheated? I, think I didn't cheat. Clear. Nah, <laughs> listen, hear me out. I didn't cheat. Mm -hmm. We were on a break. Okay. And I had no intention of getting back with you. So it's not cheating. So I was just up. doing me. All right, cool. Bet. That helps you sleep at night. Okay, last, I'm joking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, okay. Oh, I like this game. Last illegal thing that you've done. I don't really do illegal activities. Probably trip on LSD. Is that illegal? You do L okay, we're gonna talk about that though, okay. because you know, curiosity is a real thing. Um well that that's that's illegal. I don't think it's I don't think the law says you can Allegedly. Do that. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Um It okay. actually happened in my dreams. Not Name your life. favorite ex. What? <laughs> Drink the bomber clock drink, bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that down you. To, to, to new adventures. To new adventures. <laughs> what? Mm -mm. What was her reaction, please? What was that? Okay. Ain't no such thing. Okay. Okay. All right, there's more. Are you loving this? I'm loving it. Okay, cool. Name your least favorite shag. Oh. Do I have to mention a name? Or yeah, just like you have to mention a name, his address, num full number. Oh, you want the gov name? We got a, yeah, gov name. <laughs> Just the first name. Oh, wait, 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 let me. Your least favorite shag and why? I think I should just drink. No, stuff. don't drink. Oh, because I'm going to get in trouble. I don't want no we one stalking me. We've somebody that can't me. shag. Okay, fair enough. I don't want no one stalking right, cool. me. I've got enough bully. stalkers as it bully. is. Let's not bully. Oh, gosh, I can't do this. Oh, we need good Let's chairs. go. Go, 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 okay. go, go. Bitch, I'm... Well. Have you ever... <laughs> name an STD you've had. Whoa, none. Okay, good answer. Do you believe in God? Yes. Back on a first date, yes or no? no. She said maths. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, mm, no, nah, I don't think I have still. Okay. No, no, but if you have, is it okay? Oh, I personally wouldn't. Okay. I prefer to just let my coochie just. 
You know? <laughs> I mean, if she gets a little wet, that's her problem, not not his. What do you mean that he should he should eat it? Or no? no, I just mean like if I get a bit excited, that doesn't mean I have to be like I just can just be like keep it cute and pretty and <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. We don't have to give it up on the first. I hear it. Night. All right, last person you double texted. My little sister. Oh, I love that. Do you pussy? pussy? Whoa, I'm a drink to that. Cheers! Yeah! <laughs> I didn't say a damn thing. She didn't say a damn thing. She didn't say nothing. <sighs> and, oh yeah, two more questions. Rate yourself physically, can't say seven. Rate yourself physically, like what would you give yourself out of ten? Ten. Okay. <laughs> okay, why were you so confused by that? Because I was like, why not seven? Seven's my favourite number. But yeah, it's average, mine as well. So I think that's normal though. A lot of people think seven's their favourite number. I don't think I'm average though. So You're I'm definitely not, okay. not average, lovely. Your IMDDV, come on. And why are you single? Because men ain't shit. Men ain't shit. All right then, well, I can't, can't argue with that. Wait, 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 why were you already drinking? We answered Because men ain't shit. Okay, <laughs> well, I, I guess, I'm I joking, guess. guys, we're speaking positivity into the world. We'll find a good one. Allegedly. <laughs> Do you like that game? I loved it, can we go again? I've run out of questions, but you know what? We'll be back for season two. Yeah, listen, hey, run, run me my episode. Yo, okay. Go are on, we go ready? I'm are we ready, ready to jump in? Yeah, go. Let's go straight in. What's the kill? Like, what's the juice? <sighs> All right. Spill it. Well, yeah. Oh, so, but do you know what? Because we're we're getting carried away, and my beautiful production manager over there, yeah, is saying we got to move this table so we can make room for the fun. Do okay, you know I mean? yeah. So we're gonna do that. We'll be right back. Okay. Woo. Oh. That was good. That was fire. That was good. That was fire. Was that not a better game? I like that. that I really like that. Go. Excuse me, can you not ask questions that we're going to ask on air, please? Thank you. I personally. I just hate a nigga that. Stop, stop, don't. Stop it, madam. We're going to do it when the cameras oh, are sorry, activated. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Why was he your least favorite shag? I just hate <laughs> men with no rhythm. Oh, was and I hate chaotic, men please? that don't know how to eat pussy. Like, how disrespectful can you be? Oh, yeah. You expect me to suck your dick. I know what I'm doing. Mm. I'm going to teach you a few things. And you don't know how to eat my pussy cat. Like, do you know how awkward it is to just be there, like... Just bare cold. Just thinking about <laughs> the weather. It's and my, oh, thinking about, like, about raw, like oh, shit. I could be eating right now. Like, oh, remember yeah. that leftover left in the... Bitch, yeah. get out of my fucking that's not face, what, yeah, that's not, yeah. You're disrespectful and you ain't ever seen me again. Do when you go search for you're me very open. on IG, you're gonna see, you're not gonna find me because you're blocked on everything. I'm petty, you're gonna have to email me. You're gonna, you're going to block him. Yeah. Immediately, like after that, you're gonna yeah, block you're, him. Yeah, you're done. Next contestant. <laughs> Cause you're, you failed, you got F, you got a G. You're I not gonna say anything to him. You're not gonna. Say what? I'm not your mama. Why am I teaching you how to eat pussy? Like bitch, get, just, you're a grown man and you don't know what? It's just not making the mass are not okay. massing. He's beautiful. I don't business. Nice guy. I don't business. Just doesn't know how to do it. You're not I gonna don't talk business. him through it. Big man. You're not gonna Listen, talk him through candy, it. Listen, I candy. I candy doesn't mean you're a spiritual match for me. You get. It. You think that how he eats pussy matches the spiritual element? Yeah. One hundred percent. I need this book. Listen, <laughs> I'm this trying book. to tell you. Well, I'm sorry. Let me calm down. No. Calm Go. down. Where have you met this show? Look at Rise it Listen, safe Listen, space with Koi, come on. I have found that my greatest sexual experiences was always with somebody that I connected the deepest with on a spiritual note. Okay, so who was that person? Don't watch that. <laughs> That's not what I, we were talking about. That's just what I found okay. in my... You found, okay. So why are you not with them? I think you're a lovely no, girl. No, I'm good still. Like, oh, some something. people can be spiritually woke, but they're dead in other places, and I needed to be woke in every area of, of life. Um, are you easy to date? My exes wouldn't say that. No, don't worry about your exes, man. They're um, biased. But you, would you date you? I would definitely date me. I think it'd be quite easy. Like, I don't okay. ask for a lot. I just ask for you to be honest. Treat me like a princess. Okay. And be open to new experiences and be spiritually solid. Okay. You know? And, ha and that doesn't carrying, sound really easy. Be carrying girth and width and oh. length. I need that because if you don't have Obviously, it, I wanna, if you don't have the, listen, let me be, be real, listen, okay, Mando, yeah, let me put you on, yeah. Mm. I don't know if the girls can relate, yeah, but if you have a small dick, I'm going to disrespect you. I'm just so sorry. I can't help it. It's a default. Okay, so. Uh, it just is what it is. Like, What like, do they do? Eat my pussy. Okay. And, and don't stop. <laughs> Forever and ever, they should just. Like, 
that's compulsory because okay. if you're, you don't have the length to match my vibe then so could you be technically with somebody? you should be eating my pussy and another guy should be giving me whatever else would i need would you do that would you be i've never physically done that because i think i'm too selfish like I, I like my one person i'm not into all that free but that, but i would say selfish would be having two guys nah empty. that's and too I much spiritual like, baggage I, bro i, I, I can't like, do it i feel like you could you could get away with it i could get away with it but spiritually i'd be doing this you see what <laughs> i'm feeling like i'd be fighting with too many demons like one person at a time i can't even handle that okay i can just about handle myself like what is the worst part of dating ddb all right hear me out yeah i've been around a lot of toxic masculines mm -hmm. and i used to be a toxic masculine feminine at one point in life mm -hmm. took a lot what does of, that look like sorry so a, a, a feminine a female that has a toxic masculine energy is somebody that leads with their masculine um someone that isn't in touch with their feminine, isn't soft-spoken, doesn't know how to communicate, is very toxic, is very like rah, rah, angry and violent. Oh, no, like, angry. you know, oh, am I triggering you? I'm, angry. I'm, angry. I'm, I'm not, I, I think I'm quite, do you think I'm quite No, you, you, you're giving divine feminine, I'm not gonna lie. I'm always open to genuine love, but I just haven't attracted that because niggas are too focused on my pockets, niggas are too focused on oh. the clout, niggas are too focused on being jealous rather than focusing on the divine spirit I am. Like, you're seeing me giving you advice as me talking down on you when I'm actually looking at you and able to identify your weaknesses and I want you to improve those so you can level up, so you can reflect what I'm reflecting, so you can point my weaknesses out so I can level up, so we can keep going back and forth and helping each other elevate. But mm. niggas ain't on on that well the niggas that i've dealt with ain't on that and i have to take responsibility because for me to attract you means that i'm reflecting something that you are you know what i'm saying so as much as i'm saying oh yeah you were this and you mm. were that i must have been that too and i'm not when one of these last relationship my last relationship ended in 20 at the end of 2018 she had to check the dates because she didn't know what she told anybody so before he comes in the comments like bitch you broke up with me <laughs> Yeah, nigga, I broke my up with you, bitch, ass nigga. <laughs> How'd you break up with him? I, I left him, him in Miami. Him. Oh, is he not from the UK? Well, no, he is from the UK, but... But you left him in... <laughs> yeah, I left him in Miami. How, did he get back to the UK eventually? No, he was spending my peas in the strip club, but hey. Sorry, hold on, sorry. You dated somebody... So you dated somebody that just wasn't as up as you? He wasn't a musician or anything? Yeah. It was like a... It was, oh, no, they were a musician, but, like, they just... Okay. You know, you know when you meet someone that, like, matches your struggle but doesn't match your... Abundance. Drive. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. But wow. shout out to him though. We used to be toxic, I guess, at that particular point in life. So now that I'm healed and I'm in a much more wholesome space, I know that the next man, not boy, man, not boy, I'm going to say that again, man, <laughs> not boy, that approaches me mm. is going to be ordained by God. Yeah, in it has Jesus to name. be. Because, Actually like, has to be. Baby, it actually has to be. You're gonna have a great wa you're gonna have a great life, a great wife, a great time. Mm. Just play your position and know that I come with bad bitches. Mm. If you can't af uh, afford or handle bad bitches and handle a bad bitch being about her bread and, and prioritizing her artistry before this, mm. because like my artistry comes first. Above everything. Comes, above everything. Family? Above family? Family comes first. Okay. But even that, know your place. Because if you start moving mad, the artistry will come first. And sometimes it's good for family to know that because even family can be a, a huge, a huge place where you can be triggered and, and held back. So like mm -hmm. you have to be able to measure, okay, where are people up to? What are you reflecting? Like, what are you, what space do you have my energy in? Are you mm -hmm. triggering me? Are you helping me face my trauma? Are you, are you, keeping me boxed in are you trying to manipulate me because mm. a lot of the times when you're getting manipulated it's the relationships closest to you that are doing that to you so i think it's just understanding the balance so i remember wiz kid putting you up as his dp i told you i was gonna bring it up i told you i told you <laughs> um and then i kind of thought to myself i've actually never seen a publicized relationship with ddb there's a difference between lust and love when it's lust 
what do you want me to do with that? It's worldly. Like, it's not real. Like, you're just listing me because I look good. Okay. That's great. But in terms of love, like, if you love my mind, if you love my spirit, my morals, my moral compass, like, my emotional intelligence, my intellect, then that's a different... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. listen to the... It's a different it's vibration different. from the jump. So I don't really pay attention to this, although I have indulged a few times. Okay, now let's just... And it because was, I let her do... I let her was, do the happy It was kiss. quite... Ex exquisite oh. but it's not for me the not the woman that i am today like it's just like the the younger version of me the mm. more toxic version of me she would have ate that up all day but have many, the woman i am now like it's a dance for the day but if you are in, if you desire something deeper then it, it falls you a know bit into like you kind of selling yourself short yeah and, and i'm not into yeah, that i agree i agree um okay so <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh so, so are there Go like on. obviously are there any people that we would know of that have shown an interest in DDB? You know there is. Okay. Now I would like to also add more to hey. this question. Hot pepper. Whomst? You know who did you mention had me as, as a display picture? Okay, Wizzy, Whiskey. Okay, it makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, he came after me. So, I like... Mean, I mean, very publicly That should as well. speak volumes about who I am and what I am. And what did you do there? You just... You kind of just laughed it off, or...? I'm a high-value woman. I'm not surprised that I caught his attention. Okay. Why wouldn't I? But the difference between me and a lot of women that have entertained him... Oh, are you, <laughs> Brent... Brent is like... Oh. <laughs> no, the difference between me and a lot of women that just suck dick publicly is just like, I'm not afraid to tell a man with money or a man with status, you're falling off. Like you need to fucking go and check your mama and go back home and humble yourself because you're surrounded by worldly bitches that are sucking your dick and telling you you're that guy. Well, you're not that guy. Mm. You need to pray and ask for discernment and really go back to the root of who you are to reinvent yourself. I'm not afraid to tell that to somebody okay. with status and fame and fortune. A lot of these bitches are. A lot of these bitches are like, oh, if I if I just go to the studio session and suck his dick, then... And I'm not that girl. Like, I will walk out of the session and I've done that. Walked out of session because I'm like, who are you trying to flex on? Mm. You cannot flex on me. Like I said, I serve the divine. So if you're showing interest in me mm. and you're not being divine with your intentions, I'm going to see that. But then in the same breath, it's like, baby, remember you're the one that came after me. Mm. You're the one that had me as your display picture. And I was just like, hey, fans, this is what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you're the one that was playing my music in sessions with other bitches that, you know, didn't like me. So what does that say about me for you to be that mega superstar to be playing my shit when I ask you not to play it? Where are you guys now? Your, your friends? There's, there's no where are you guys now. Like, okay. it's run me my stems. Like, bro, we have a banger together. And for some reason, your team won't let me have my stems. Why is that? Are they mad that I'm a bad bitch? Hmm. If I was ugly, would I have my stems? <laughs> she said If no. you didn't find me attractive, would hmm. I have my stems? See, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I could say so much, but I'm going to just say less. It's all love. Regardless. Sis will, sis will slaughter somebody and then say, it's all love, regardless. Wait, was that a slaughter? Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. My bad. I, want I to, mean... I wanted to ask you a question, yeah. <laughs> Big up my sis, Jen. <laughs> Have you... <laughs> <laughs> see, guys, don't wait. One day there'll be a live show so you can see all that's happening in front and behind the camera. It is well. <laughs> so sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, let me go... <laughs> It's the inside joke. It's the Scorpio Pisces thing. Okay. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, quick question. Have you... <laughs> sorry. sorry. Oh, sorry she's... I do love the relationship talk, though. I feel like... Yeah, let's get into it. The girls are gagging for that. Yeah, no. I, no, we, we would. We, let's do it. I was about yeah. to ask you the next question now. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, oh, sure, 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 okay. sure. What are we cheering to? All right, cool. We're cheering to... To good sex, real orgasms, and divine masculines. That's shit. Real that are orgasms. balanced with their feminine energy too. Because y'all niggas are out of balance, but hey. Whatever God calls for me, let's do it, man. Exactly. <laughs> I'm DDB. What? Have you ever been in love? Yes. Have you? Yeah. I've never been in love. Go. And you know, I used to be proud of that. 
I used to be really? proud of that. I used to be like, yeah, no one's ever like twanged me. No one's ever like made me feel. But now I just feel like actually it demonstrates maybe like a discomfort in me. But I'm ready now. Like I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm. I think I'm ready. I am ready. I want to. Be. Are you open to love though? I am now. I am. Do you think you were closed off to love? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Why? Because did you not feel safe? Yeah, because I feel like when I'm like when I'm open, mm. that's the rawest you're raw, right? Yeah. E everything would hurt. If it, if something's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt a lot. And I feel, and so the idea of mm. giving myself to one of these mad people, oh. <laughs> it really it really scared me. Now I feel like maybe. Like when I was younger, I'm more buoyant. I could have handled a couple, <laughs> like maybe one or a couple two jabs. A couple <laughs> yeah. jabs. But yeah, like I, I feel like yeah, I used to think it was not cool. I'm not saying it was cool, but I used to think, whew, I've escaped it. Especially because I saw a lot of trauma stories around me. Mm. It felt like every girl that I thought was elite had gone through someone teaching her she wasn't. Yeah, and I just was like, oh. So it's flirting was cool. One or two dates here was cool, but I'd never met. And also, I don't think I'd, I'd met the guy. I don't think I'd met somebody that evoked something in me. Mm. What about you? What, when, so how many times have you been in love? If I'm honest, I feel like I've only been in love once. Okay. Okay. So when was that? How was that? I'm not going to say when it is. Oh, no, the, okay, don't don't, the person don't need to feel like they did something because they didn't. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, okay. But it was for three years. Um, it was, I, I can recognize now, the, the woman that I am now, it was definitely toxic. It wasn't healthy. Um, there was a lot of abuse in that. Oh, sure. But I say it's love, not because of the abuse, but because of how vulnerable I allowed myself to be in that situation. Um, I was very raw in that. Um, I was very unfiltered in that. Um, but in the same breath, I see so many red flags that I ignored. Mm. And that's why since that situation, I haven't been in a relationship since, because it's like, I learned so much from that relationship. Mm. I learned so much from my dating experiences that I don't ignore red flags. Great. Show me one red flag, and you're... I am sprinting down that M. Do you know, a younger me would be like, that's too much, like one red flag, like everyone's going to have something. But do you know what? It's not your spirit and heart that you should be playing with. Like, it, you actually need somebody that wants to be there. And I think a lot of guys, if they want to be there, those flags wouldn't be there. If that makes yeah. sense. And a lot of the times, like, red flags are triggered by uncomfortability. And I'm already uncomfortable with giving you access to my energy. Mm. So if I'm giving you access to my energy, you better treat that with respect. If you violate that, mm. why should I leave you in that space? All right, so you give like, off very confident, very I know what I want kind of thing, yeah? Have you ever been taken for idiot? yeah. I, it always it's just makes real. Me, yeah, like it always makes me think like some of the like honestly some of the baddest women I know yeah have been through the wildest shit Whoa. you wouldn't even believe. As in, it's almost like a curse of being bad. But let me tell you like, one thing here. Yeah. Do you not think that it's always the most ugliest guys that do the ugliest things? I'm sorry, mm. that's why you can't date ugly men, you know, because <laughs> they don't love themselves. So what you think? What do you think they're gonna do to you? They're gonna abuse you. They're gonna be like, yeah, you. <laughs> What? I'm that nigga. Why is it, man? Why? Why? Because that's how, that's how I feel that they are. That demon thing in them yeah. is like, yeah. Do you know I'm my the, word? I'm like the baddest in the game. Do you know my word? <laughs> what is that's this? how I feel that they are. They're like sweaty and big and just like <laughs> what is demon happening? like. <laughs> that's how I feel like they are, do you bro. Know what's, well, do you know what's mad to me? The, the, so this is so mad, yeah, because I've actually, I've actually forgiven. I'm actually at a place of peace and all of them things, yeah. But I realised that a lot of my cautiousness... Yeah. I, so I'm already... You already know I'm quite free. Yeah. Yeah, I give up quite free. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to say, my, like, my core, where I feel like I could feel the most hurt, I'm very guarded, very cautious. Mm. That's not true to me. That's, I think that's a response to like, things that I've seen or what has happened in the past. Anyway, the guy that I feel like was my... Like, I, that wasn't great. He was stunning. Okay, let me tell you something he about that. So the devil comes in different forms. And sometimes, the de not sometimes, all the time, the devil knows your type. Mm. He knows what you like. Cheap bones, dark and skin, it's tall, six, something. Ah, okay, like, so what? if you're six foot, dark <laughs> skin, <laughs> no, something, six. something, something. What do you mean six? What did you say? Six, something. Okay, six, something. something. Yeah. yeah. 
If you're that yeah. kind and you do not have pure intentions, don't step to my sister, you know? Because me, I will put my knee, I'm a god a woman. Yeah, I will put my to knees to the ground and I will tell God to come for you, you know? Ooh. And God doesn't ignore my prayers. So, right, I've, I've, I've left it. The devil likes to come dressed as your type. Do you get it? Mm. Like, I used to go for, for okay, this is kind of, no offense. It's I'm going to offend though. you, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I used to, there's a period of life where yeah. I went for less attractive men than me because I just thought I can't deal with a high maintenance man that thinks it's all about him because bitch, it's all about me. That's why I so stopped dating Nigerians. Be a bit, fuck Nigerians, bro. No, no, I stopped dating Nigerians because I was like, fuck Nigerians, bro. bro. Okay, I, I, Nigerians I'm, will I'm put you in a you. bottle. <laughs> what? Nigerians will put you in a bottle. And the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Who's in the book? I will never, God forbid. God, I... I can't I, lie, did you? God, I rebuke. I, I see you. God, I, I rebuke. I These Nigerian men out of my I, life. I I'm you, sorry. I see you for Nigerian. No, I, I tried. Who it didn't else, work. Who else will handle the, the, the DDB of you? Your DDB, my G. Like, I don't know. Like, listen, look at look, her. She's smiling. Look at her head. A Nigerian man <laughs> ego will match listen, your ego and it will no, neutralize but babe, listen, after three deep, years. Deep what you just said. Deep what you just said, <laughs> a Nigerian man will match my ego. Mm. That is not what I want. What do you want? Somebody would know it. I do. want somebody Why to... Why am I finding so hard for Nigerian man? Let me relax for us. <laughs> Babe. I don't know if I find so hard for Nigerian man. You've got to you gotta get to that root, root, <laughs> that root cause. And it, do you know what it is? I actually stopped dating Nigerian Okay, so I'll tell you why... Go ahead. I stopped dating Nigerian man. Why I did protest again. Yeah. Yeah. She said... Because, yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, sis. I'm with in you. In my I'm opinion. And the thing is that Brent knows I've changed. <laughs> he knows Brent I'm is back. Brent smiling. I'm back <laughs> on the Nigerian train. A trip Okay, maybe not choo-choo because I know what that I'm means. I'm not. So stay away from me. Go to her. She, you, even Nigerian men like a challenge. You made yourself sexier. So here's the thing, yeah. <laughs> here's the thing, yeah. The Go reason why I stopped beat. dating Nigerian men, yeah. 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 It's because, yeah. Are you Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> we so Are you sure? It's because for me personally, there was I felt like their characters, hmm. yes, you know, their characters aligned with toxic behavior. The ego, even them like paying all your ways and paying all your, is almost a control, is an ego for them. It's like you're an extension of them. I wanted someone who saw me, like, and mm. and all of that stuff, yeah. And so I was like, all right, cool. So I, let me tell you the countries I tried. Eh? Jamaica. I tried Jamaica. That I one didn't Jamaica. work for Jamaica me. Was, Jamaica Nice. That one didn't work. Compliments, for me. they compliment you galore. But like this, the devil has a silver tongue. All right, but then at this point, everybody's a devil, sis. Yeah, <laughs> that's my point. That's why I'm not dating. Okay. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, give that one to <laughs> I'm me. I'm so sorry. Honestly. Like, leave me alone. But we're changing because we're moving with confidence and believing that God will make a way. All yeah, one hundred percent. Um, and then the other one I tried. Okay, I'm not gonna say this one. Yeah. But let's. I'm not gonna say this one because it's so Go. obvious. Like, whenever I date somebody from this country, it's so obvious. But this one is from the um. Who? Is one of the coast, yeah, and. And I feel like I feel like that one was very sweet. I love how girl. Gentle. You gotta have to take a shot because you're not telling me the, the specifics. Okay, Ivory Coast. Oh, what so was he saying? Huh? They know how to wine, you know. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never dated anyone. This I've never dated <laughs> anyone from there, but I've seen a couple Ivorian tiki tokers, and my <laughs> gosh, listen, their waist is wasting. Yeah, hey. right, you know cool. what a good waist means, right? Okay, no, great. Okay, anyway. you do. That's why you're trying to swerve it. <laughs> I don't know anything about it anyways. <laughs> but yeah, so I tried that. All I know, yeah, when it comes to fun, banter, this mischievous, any... Do you know what? Nigerians are the cheapy chappy of Africa. They're the cheeky chappy of Africa. Wait, did you say the They're... cheapy chappy no, or the, the cheeky chappy? I think chappy. I did say that, but I meant the cheeky chappy of Africa. They are the, like, the lads. They are the, like... They, they are the... Oh, you like them because they're charming and but you know they're up to no they are they're up to like oh, something. So let the camera wait, what, speak. Like, what did the what the girls in the back say? Like I actually think they enjoy the mischievousness. Now let's not say there's not good Nigerian men. I know a couple good Nigerian men through my girls people. But I personally feel like a lot of them are just knackers. They just want a knack. <laughs> they just want a knack. They want to cheat. Okay. They want to score. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Just say that though. But they don't present. They're not transparent. You know what I'm saying? They're not transparent. They're, they're, I see me. You can't yeah. run them games with me. Like I tried to date a Nigerian, and like we just kept clashing because it's yeah. like you're trying to run them spiritual games on me, and you don't realize that I'm an Angolan woman. Like I'm from Africa too, and mm. the, them same powers you have, I have on a different level. 
What do you mean powers? You like mean? spiritual powers. Like we're from Africa, bro. We're, we're wired differently. Mm. You can't compare an African person that's connected to their heritage, to their roots, to their parents, to their traditions, to a European. Mm. We, we are vibrating from a different dimension. So are you not in touch with your Portuguese side? Yeah, of course. Is that like, is that? I'm in touch with that, but like in but terms of like, the, my personal dating experience yeah. and the experience I've had with Nigerian men specifically, mm. I always feel like we clash because it's like, you're trying to blindsight me with this energy and you don't realize that my ancestors are looking directly at you. And I'm like, babe, mm. you see that bottle you're trying to put me in? I smashed okay, it. Okay, explain the bottle so, to me, educate me. What's friend, the bottle? What's Nigerian the bottle? men, yeah. Because I've been Nigerian all my life. And I don't even want to say what I want to say because these lot are going to come for me in the comments. They use nah. magic. They use spiritual abilities to, for, to, get for, girl. to get girl, to impregnate you, to keep you in this illusion. And it's not going to work with me because I'm Angolan. My blood is stronger than yours. Don't do that. Because my great, 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 great grandmother will come and put you in a chokehold. Don't do that. Oh. So like, this is why I can't date Nigerians because it's like our, our ancestors are fighting and they're, they're telling me to, you're not the one. And oh, okay. if I don't get away from you, they're going to end up killing you. But and I don't want that to happen. Not that I like you or care about you like that, but I just don't want that to happen to you because like... This was cute whilst it lasted, but just get out of the way so my soulmate can come here. So you don't recommend Nigerian men for me either? I don't, babe. Really? I don't. I think I have all my friends. I'm the one that everyone's a bit like, she could marry, it could be anyone. Like, not it could be anyone. Good luck. If you marry a Nigerian man, all I'm going to say is good luck. And if you ever need prayers of rebuke, I am here. I'm on speed dial. You have my number. What's up, Yeah. <laughs> She did say, call me. She said, what's up? I'm just saying. I'll get back to you when I'm available. <laughs> she said, it's not that urgent. <laughs> Give me your best piece of advice for relationships. Don't beg it. Don't beg it. And don't okay. act like it is what it's not. Like, babe, you know when a man just wants to fuck. Oh. That's okay. If you just want to fuck and you want that soul tie and you want to car and you carry his demons inside of you for the next six to 12 months, I mean, do your thing. Okay. I've done that a couple of times. It wasn't worth it. I it wouldn't recommend it. It's never worth it. You know what it. I'm saying? I like, it's never worth it. Then they just become obsessed with From you. From what I've heard. And then they just start fucking you because your pussy bring blessing. Like, you remember that song? Your boom, boom, bring, bring life. life. Yes, Was that like, about boom, you? Boom, boom, bring... Wait, not about me. I never fucked. Blessing. I mean, but... shit. I've never given life or brought life, but mm. my pom pom definitely brings blessings. I tell you that for free. Come on. So, tell them. you know, any nigga that's ever dealt with me mm. has left better off than he was before he dealt with this boon line. She says she takes you into a but different tax bracket. Oh my gosh, you lot are fucking the wrong pussy. She said that, not <laughs> me, but hey, that's a great review, I guess, in the 3D world. <laughs> but yeah, girl, like, until I can find a man that is God-fearing and worships the God, the, the divine, godly energy that a black woman brings into this life mm. that can accept that my artistry is important that can accept other beautiful mm. dark skin chocolate six mm. foot men with big dicks giving me love yeah. and knowing that i'm not going to violate him mm. then i just should rather be single because right. i appreciate the love and if i see a, a handsome black man i'm going to tell him he's handsome so and that's day, not because i want to sit on his day, dick it's day. because he deserves to smell his flowers and if you're intimidated by that then i'm not the one for you i'm sorry aren't they like just quickly because you know go ahead, go aren't, they, get, go ahead, aren't they beautiful though Divine aren't specimens. Oh, oh, black men. Especially the ones that are in aren't touch they... with their feminine energy. I'm not saying like no. no. Do you know overtly what? feminine, but the but ones just, that are gentle. They're not always ready. For, it's not always fire, fire, fire. Yeah. What was that thing you did earlier? <laughs> 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 this is how they sound. <laughs> Like, they sound like gremlins, like, bro. Like the ones that, that just fucking just, they just shit. like they literally flow with life. Like they yeah. they they they. I feel they're like open. positive in their yeah. ways, and they and they make you happy. Anyway, but then when it's time to get serious, they are manly Whew. and masculine. I, that will make. Are we asking for too tremble. much? Is that we're not asking them? for too much? I will be single until I'm, on God delivers what has been ordained. Oh come on! I just have to. Oh, All God. this eye candy, you're cute, yeah, but you're not worth my dime. Okay. So who who do you have a question in the scene? I don't. Who's your type in the scene? Do you want me to tell you who's my type? Okay. Do you really want to know? Yes. This is like super exclusive. You can't tell anyone. She's setting me up for something. I, okay, I'm ready. She's going to say it. Who is it? I am DDD. Fucking <laughs> bad bitch. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was being set up. <sighs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> listen, I only listen. The only person I'm listening over is my higher self. Okay, oh, bitch, you better come down here. And no, get me. do you know what's mad? Because Em is the ghetto. The, but no, I don't take her. Have, yeah, she's got. I actually hours, don't have volume the, six to come out. If I'm really honest. I don't have a crush on anyone. I don't. No one's like, your type? No, Would bro. Would you date women? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if that is bad for marketing, but fuck it. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's bad for marketing. I just wouldn't. I love... Uh, I don't have a problem with them. Like, do you have a clear reason why, or is it just Because the... it, like, it just doesn't match my DNA. Like, I want black babies, so, like, if I fuck a white man, I'm going to have light-skinned babies. That's not what I'm trying to go for. I want chocolate. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, like that's just my preference. There's nothing wrong with white men. I see plenty of black women going lighter, and that's cool. But like, I want chocolate babies. I want that melanin to run through my DNA if I decide to do that. Do you know what it is? I've always envisioned like my chocolate, like my my dark, because I because I I you reckon I'm dark skin. Yeah. I, I feel like I've trained myself to raise kids in this world. Like mm. like. Every day will be uplifting, and uh, like every day, every single day, not just mine, uh, talk to I my guess, girls. Yeah. I literally include my girls in this as well, like my their kids. I mean, like, there will be a, a constant stream mm -hmm. of like reminding you that you're, you're just beautiful and amazing because I know how hard the world works mm. to make you not feel that way. Like, I feel like I've survived that. I 100%. I feel so beautiful. Oh, wait, watch them lose their minds. Well, some people, I don't think people that are on my YouTube, but some people may lose their minds because of uh, a wig and all of that stuff. Big man, I do, it's like a hat. It was just created by Egyptian black women, by the way. See, so it's even on black, black owned, shop black owned. Anyway, oh, for me personally though, I look forward to, to raising children that have not, that won't crumble in this world. I'm not gonna lie like, to I'm, you. Oh, I would I be satisfied wait. not having children. Talk about it. Because it's just like, why am I bringing children into this trauma? Like, mm -hmm. I'd rather just dead the bloodline with me and then it just ends and then there's no anything after. That is incredible. And I know that sounds dark. so, like, yeah. dark, but for me, it's not dark. It's like, I am content with just completing my mission, living a full life and getting off and not passing this ancestral trauma, this ancestral curse, this ancestral faulty DNA to another being that has to go through the same thing. But, but you... then if God ordains it and it's my destiny to be married and be with a man and have, I don't know, one to 10 kids, then that's not, that's not my place to say I can't do that. But like the person I am now and the things I've experienced and the way the world is currently, I just don't think it's the best place to bring a child into that's so interesting because i think there's no there's no doubt that this world is fucked yeah but i kind of think i'm now bringing forward a child that has what well, i believe i'm giving them the the rules and the ways to navigate the world so it isn't the way it was do you I know what i mean you, but like, I, I get what you mean but same i just time, kind of like giving up i not even like i just feel like different things fulfill different people yeah, yeah i could have a child but yeah. at the same time i could just buy a bunch of land in africa and build my animal sanctuary and have a bunch of animals and just take care of them like my giraffes and elephants and lions and shit just running around and my dogs and my plants and my fucking just just i just want to be surrounded by divine energy and divine energy doesn't necessarily mean a child you know what i'm saying a lot of the times um examples of family structures and and marriages and relationships the dynamic changes once a child is involved Mm. The masculine always tends to switch it up and think, oh, fuck this. Not saying that all of them do, but yeah. um, a, a good proportion of them mm -hmm. do change after childbirth. And I just don't want to go through that kind of abuse and then have a child there that I have to raise by myself that's going to remind me of you every single day and then low-key start resenting the child because it reminds me of you and it's not even the child's fault. Mm. Like, I'd rather just be accountable for how I know I feel mm. and not do that and just invest into something I can nurture wholeheartedly mm. without having like a battle with my ego and with my, no, I'm, I'm cool with evil or whatever God wants yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. Do you know what? Yeah, I, sometimes I do go back and forth. My mom obviously wants grandchildren, which yeah. is always on me, but. How old are you? I'm 26, girl. You've got time. My womb is fresh. <laughs> she said, but Don't pray on me. Um, Don't pray on my, me, I, got, I still got time, boy. My, were your, were your mum, your mum and dad, are they still together? Yes. That's so interesting. Cause you, you know what's crazy? My dad was actually my mother's first love. Oh, wow. So I was meant to be. I was made with intention. 
She said, the rest of y'all are bastards. <laughs> no, no that's, that, that's interesting to me because yeah. are they are they good? Are they like friends? And... They are still together till this day. They've okay. been married for, a, I don't even know how long. But they, do they ever be like, do they like walk through the corridor and just kiss each other randomly? Like, do they, or is it like very I mean, functional? I feel like after a certain amount of time of being married, it stops being romantic and it just becomes a partnership. I've definitely noticed that from the older generation, not just my parents, but just the older generation, yeah. African generation in general. Mm. And if I'm honest, that just doesn't do it for me. All right, let's talk about this here because... Oh gosh. So, yeah. So, okay. sorry. So, I... I can't settle. I just don't see myself ever settling. I don't... Yeah, I don't think... I'd rather have seven years with you and then be the craziest, most intense wild wild seven years of my life where we fulfill so many yeah. desires yeah. for each other and then it ends yeah then have a lifetime with you and it'd be mediocre i'm so sorry i'm not built for that i'm not built for that i'm not all right so i did a quiz yeah i did a quiz <laughs> i did a quiz <laughs> it's more itch, like, <laughs> oh, no. it came up with lots of different options like you, you either you're a serial monogamist or you're oh, um a, a modern monogamist or you are polyamorous or like i'm all definitely that that polyamorous shit god forbid i will i will end up in prison okay don't worry i we, cannot share we don't want you to go to allegedly prison. i cannot share yeah the legend the legend the, 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 the. So, <laughs> but like you see so as uh, so i came up as a um modern monogamist so what does that mean uh, well i'll tell you sweetheart a uh, traditional monogamist is somebody one person for the rest of their life that's all, no, no matter what, that's what they want, that's what they're on. I think um, a modern monogamist is that one person for your life, but if it no longer is serving both of you, if you're no longer happy or whatever, you both are open to the idea of this might not work kind of thing. Yeah. So that was really interesting to me. And there was like nine different things. And I was like, I've never even known these other, these other, other seven even existed. And so when you're saying all the things you're saying right now about like, it just feels like you're really listening to yourself yeah, and man. then and then making decisions as opposed to here are the decisions that are laid out before mm -hmm. me. I must get married. Um, I must have two to four children um, and all of this stuff. So would you be okay never getting married? I feel like it's just a paper. And like from when I'm dating you, if I don't envision myself with you, I wouldn't even you waste my time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And marriage starts in the spirit. Mm. Do you match my vibration? Do you protect me? Do you, do you nurture me? Like, do you still want me if I'm not giving you my body? Will you still want me on an off day? So do you do, like, you, do you abstinence? Is that the word? Do you practice abstinence? I have been in 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 situations when I'm dating somebody, and we're of course we're attracted to one another, but mm. we've made the choice to not have sex mm. for a, a long period of time just to get to know one another mm. just to like okay let's let's test each other let's see how far we can go without having sex like it's not all about sex yes sex is great and of course you we, we want that to be great but i don't have to merge with you to love you mm. i don't and and i find that when you do refrain from that you kind of build a deeper love for the person i think there's a lack rather of than just that fleshly oh now we've merged and now we're one in intimate. in ties and now i'm just like craving to have your body and i'm just so animated <laughs> that's tiring man that's no, draining us for i definitely feel like i feel like for me um there's a freedom that comes with abstinence honestly like there's less distraction yeah. like it, some people when they argue like i remember there was there was like if i would if like if there was an ex, if I argued with him, then I'll just like go cozy up to him and kiss him, and then the arguments were done. But the issues are still there. The issues are still there. And then the issues will manifest in some other way. Literally, and every way that every relationship that's ever broken up here, in my opinion, okay, sir. Every the universe is <laughs> university right now. Um, every um, every relationship that's broken up, in my opinion, everywhere all over the globe here. Yeah, you saw why it wouldn't work mm. in the very beginning, mm. but then you kind of distracted. You ignored, the red you ignored it with the flesh. You know, that's, that's the hardest thing, but dealing with the fact that you are a co-conspirator in your L. Yeah, like you literally allowed it. Oh, that's the is hardest why thing to deal. Following what looks nice is a trap mm. because you're mm. following what looks nice. You're not following what feels right. So are you still There's dating? Okay. Two different spectrums. 
in terms of dating, I'm not dating right now. Yeah. I made a promise to God and for X amount of time, I'm not dating anybody because I have a mission to complete and I'm going to need to harness all my sexual energy. Like the sexual energy we hold is our most powerful form of energy. So if I know that mm. and if I'm just fucking sharing that with mm. A, B, C and D, mm. I'm giving you my power. Mm. No, I don't. I'm being selfish. I'm sorry. I know what my power does. I've seen niggas go from boomy to, to, to glow up after fucking me. And I'm just like, oh, once I deep that pattern, I was like, oh, yeah, kitty on lock, because these niggas is trifling. I was doing this for a sec, because I'm like, I don't trust y'all. Y'all don't deserve to visit this universe. And babe, I need this the power in this universe to, to provide for me. Have and you that's ever, what I'm on. Have you ever elevated after cocky? Cocky or? or? Cocky, cocky. Oh, yeah. OK. Guy, guy. Um, I'd say once. Oh, what happened? Tax return. What? Like what happened? Like what? What was the level up? I mean, like he taught he taught me he taught me things in terms of manifestation and harnessing energy and and just using certain tools. That's all I will say. Okay. But in terms of like whether I would take this person serious in a relationship, I wouldn't. No. Okay. That's just not what I see myself being with. Okay, I love that for you. Yeah. I love that. I just love that you but know it's, what it's, you want. It's good to date, though. I'm not saying that I'm against love. Like, I love love. I'm definitely a lover. I'm a giver. I'm a receiver of divine love. But in terms of, like, committing to somebody, unless you align with my life purpose, mm. there's just no point. And why are we lying to each other? If it's a fuck, say that. If you want to eat my pussy, say that. It just saves time and saves feelings getting hurt. I don't know why we're in a generation that is so offended by the truth. Like... What's so wrong with wanting to fuck somebody? We all have needs, we all have desires, but that's just not what I'm on. Mm. If that's what you're on, go and look for someone that matches your vibration. But yo, if you want to read a book and do book club and do cuddles without trying to fuck and play chess and like, you know, go to museums and like trip balls and travel and like jump in the yes. ocean, like I'm with that. I'm really with that shit. Like I'm with that. And especially with divine masculine energy, like, I'm so grateful to all the divine masculines I've met and they've really nurtured me and helped me develop certain skills that a, a, a feminine might not be able to because that there's a certain, there's a certain, how do I describe it? Like there's a certain chemistry that happens between a man and a woman where they're attracted to each other, mm. but they have enough respect for each other to not violate one another. And they just go on that journey, wherever that journey leads. I'm not saying it has to lead to, to elderly age and fucking mm. kids and grandkids. No, it might just be an experience. And I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, I'm not thirsty and I'm not trying to fucking get trapped by niggas because niggas be trapping bitches too. So that's the bottle. That's a wrap. That's the bottle with the lid. That's the bottle. Once that lid goes Shit. on, bitch, you in there for a lifetime. All right, Zeb. You better hope that the pasta's a real pasta because, boy, if it isn't, you, you might do a couple lifetimes in there. Oh, my gosh. In the that, bottle. In the bottle. All right. I, I want to talk about... <laughs> you You mentioned twice in our in our evening together. What did I say? Um, LSD? Yes. I'm a psychedelic girl. Chat to me. Because Allegedly. right now, water's not cutting it. <laughs> I'm ready to spice things up. Have you ever up. had psychedelics? No, before? I'm not. I okay. think I'm an overthinker. So tell me, how did you get into into? Are we, are we happy to talk about it? LSD? Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. How did you get into LSD allegedly, and like, what does it do for you? Um, for me personally. And do you have some? Yes, I have some. Not on me right now, but I do have some allegedly. Allegedly. Um, so the way I got into it. Check out my next YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Quite tripping on LSD, allegedly. <laughs> I'm weak. Um, I got into it a couple years ago. Um, for me personally, um, taking substances is never an abuse. I repeat, taking substances is never a form of abuse. I really use it as a form of healing, a form of um, connecting to other realms and dimensions, um, a form of connecting to my bloodline, my ancestry line. And every time I take these substances, it's over a, a long period of time. It's not one of these things where you just take every week and you're just fucking bugging out and you're outside of everybody. You're okay. It's a ritual. For me personally, it's a ritual. I honor it because I understand that the dimensions I'm gonna be exposed to is a real experience. And if I'm able to honor that, mm the trip will honor me. It's a give and take, like anything in life. So if you go into something 
with, a, with the right intentions, then of course you're going to get the right things back from it. But I think people violate these substances when they're taking it just to get lit and taking it around a bunch of people where you're going to be seeing spirits and fucking entities and things you've never seen before coming out of these people and then you're going to be overwhelmed because you don't understand the visions you're having but mm. once you've understood okay this is a way to access and open these portals and if i'm entering these portals with intention around people that i trust and people that i'm safe around then i can really gauge like some next level knowledge and information that I wouldn't necessarily have access to if I was sober. What have you gained from the LSD world? What did it show you? <sighs> it's shown me sides of myself that I refused to accept when I was sober. It showed me sides of myself that I really struggled to deal with. Um, it showed me... Like um, what? Like if you don't mind showing In terms what? of like... I feel like in my early 20s, I really struggled with holding myself accountable mm -hmm. and really identifying that sometimes I was the problem mm -hmm. and taking these psychedelics really took me to the root cause. Like, it's not a, oh, by the way, you might be the problem. No, it's like, <laughs> boom, here's the issue. There's the problem. It's mm -hmm. you. This is the root cause. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. We're here. What are you going to do? So it's your choice. You can either have a bad trip or you can get to the root cause and really delve deep. And I've delved so deep that I've had visions of great, 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 great grandmothers mm. telling, having conversations with me. And I'm, and like some people might hear that and think, yeah, you were just tripping balls. Mm. But for me, being a spiritual person and, and, and taking this substance sober, I'm not mixing and blending with other things. I'm mm. really treating this as a ritual. I'm mm. lighting my incense, I'm lighting my candles, I'm having my frequency music in the back. I'm, I'm, I'm fasting, I'm drinking my teas. Like, You're fasting? I, yeah, I'm journaling, I'm writing intentions, I'm writing prayers, I'm purging. Like I'm going deep because I'm trying to get to this root cause of whatever this trauma is being exposed to me. So that's so interesting. So what do you, like what do you see? Like what do you see? Girl, you it's do... unique to to each person. Like... I know, but like what is it? Is it like you're in a room and suddenly the room becomes the unit like or is it a person that comes in and talks to you that's gone? It's like... a unique all I can say it's a unique experience to each person. The first time I took L S D compared to how I take it now yeah. is a completely different experience because now I've I've adjusted to that. Does someone coach you through it or Pardon do you me? just I just kind of jumped in the deep end and just learned what it was. So I remember an interview where you said something about like how you make your own lean. I think it was Samuel Inney, I think it was Represent. Oh, oh you're owning it, okay. So, um, <laughs> like, what, Yeah, what, I, listen, me, I stand in my is, truth. What is, what is, what is lean? Because my definition of, not definition, my uh, understanding of it is cough medicine or something like that with alcohol people make different versions of lean but mm. my version of lean is a mixture of with <laughs> and some I other to, little things in there maybe i have to block that out i feel like scientifically but yeah so but allegedly saying, like this allegedly, is all, this is, this is all, all this whole this is segment all made up. is the alleged like, segment you know what i'm saying but like a lot of guys especially in america they mix promethazine and codeine and these are very highly addictive sleeping pills that will get you addicted to it. And like, even when I was drinking lean consecutively, it was never on a thing of, oh, I have to drink this because I'm addicted. Oh, give me a cup every five minutes. I don't remember. No, like I was never addicted to that shit. I used to drink it because I, I liked how it just used to relax me. Like mm. I liked being relaxed and recorded. That was my vibe. Have a nice little bougie cup of lean and record, you know? Mm. I still do that every so often, but it's not a thing of codependency. And yeah. it's not like I'm, going out of my way to promote to these kids, oh, drink lean, drink lean. Although I have a song called Lean Dow. Like, okay. Well, you know that was your first song. Well, that was were... one of my first songs. And even then, like, you didn't see no lean in the video. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but in the same breath, I'm not going to lie to you. If I'm in the mood to drink a cup of lean, I will drink a cup of lean. See, how I relax is... Um... But now, the person I am now, if I really want to relax, I'll just go to sleep. No, sleep is boring. I'll meditate. No, actually, I appreciate I'll do sleep steam now. sauna. Go to the gym. Like, no, there's thought. many ways of relaxing. I used to relax through having sex, but now it's just not my thing, you know? Mm. People have their different ticks and things, but... Yeah, I find yeah. that... I find that I can distract myself. So I might go in and say in a conversation that I know I am... Well, what do you into. mean, distract yourself? So, like, so when you talk about, like, relaxing, for me, how I relax is probably... 
and I just like the taste of it. The way I make it is very tasty. The taste of lean. Yeah. Allegedly. But like my lean isn't that gut belly lean. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like like fucking what's his called Gucci main lean? Oh, like okay. he was really on that heavy shit. But I just make some pretty girl bare bitch lean, you know? Who who Not can tell, who can who tells who <laughs> tells you no? What do you mean? Like who? T- <laughs> so what do you mean? Who told you? Like who told you? No. Like who told you you can't do it? Who told you this isn't good for you? Who told you? Don't learn through experience. Just believe me. God. Okay. Like there'll be certain times. Like just this week, I was on a detox. Didn't drink alcohol. This is the first time I've drank alcohol in a sec. Mm. And I was like, I did a flip of a coin. I was like, God. I'm going to go out for our meeting. I was like, I'm going to go out and I really want to drink an espresso martini, but if you don't want me to, I won't. And I flipped the coin mm. and it came. And I was like, God, I don't think you meant that. Let me go again. Okay, if you if, if you don't want me to drink an espresso martini, I really won't, but just be for real this time. Be fucking for real. Flipped it again and it came out the time. I was like, okay, let me just fucking sit down. God don't want me to drink. Like, that's really how I've been making my <laughs> decisions. Not on everything, really. Obviously, sometimes I, uh, most times I pray about things, but things like that, like mm. when I want to indulge in certain things, yeah. I'm like, mm. I know that I really, sh- I don't need to do that, but let me just check with God and see what God thinks. Okay, I shouldn't do it. Or, so, okay, so, maybe I can. So you feel like, um, this is going to sound like I'm picking and digging, but Go this on. is a genuine question. So you feel like God is, is like, cool with, with lean? Uh, or okay, you, or when you, you say it like that, <laughs> when <laughs> you say it like that, it sounds kind yeah. of mad. Have, okay, have you ever flipped a coin for the lean thing? No. Have you, okay. <laughs> I haven't, but, but the thing Welcome is, like, space, baby, if you were to ask me, if you were to ask me when was the last time I, I drank lean, I can't even remember. Yeah. Like, it was probably in but 2021. You no? Like, if, if you were Nobody doing tells me no, right, So you were doing something, and Jasmine says no. But this is the thing, I don't have an addictive personality. No, no, I'm not saying about drugs, I'm just saying anything, talking but to a guy. she wouldn't with. tell me no. The only time she would tell me no is if, if, is if I, I ever have, which I definitely have not been like, mm. but if I ever happen to be like, yo, Jasmine, I want to bang bad drugs and fuck bad man, she would definitely be like, bitch, what? No. <laughs> yeah. But that's, sis, when have I ever said that? No, I don't, no. Think, I don't think you would say I, that. I'm not that kind of person because I know my limits. I've experienced enough in life. I've experienced different substances where I'm just like, I know what's for me. I know what's not for me. I don't. Mm. I don't need to be lit off drugs because I'm lit in real life. Yeah, like my I'm life, so you know what I'm saying? Like my life is the real trip. And for me to take a substance, it's gonna, it's gonna take something like mm. a big shift. Like I, I must have been through a lot mm. to get to a space where I'm like, okay, now I'm in a place where I can, I can hack that energy mm. and trip for ten hours and really channel whatever was trip ready for to ten hours. Oh yeah, girl, it's a shift. How many hours in a day? Girl, it's not a joke. Ten hours. Last time it's, I tripped, I took ten that hours. Shit. And reality is not as, as I'm oh, seeing it. I last time I tripped, I must have taken that tab at like allegedly. Allegedly, it didn't happen in real life. This is all my dreams. Um, at maybe eleven a.m. and I was burst till seven p.m. So, so what do you? So what do you do in that day? Like, I told you. I set the vibe. You're playing with. You're playing with candles. Why is your uh, tripping? Yeah. I'm, I'm not a beginner. I'm, a, I'm experienced. Like I, I even went outside and was chilling by the river. And but how do you know like, it was a river? Because I'm aware. You, some people can't handle substances. Substances are not for everybody. Like I have friends that tried it mm. and they fell off. Their their mental state went tits up, and, and they they've never, never came... been the same. Oh my since. gosh! So I'm not encouraging it. I'm not. Like, I'm not saying that. Oh yeah. I'm, no, I'm I don't a, think you're encouraging. You know you're what I'm just saying? saying. But for my personal experience, I know what works for me. Okay. And I know that I don't abuse it. And I know every time I take it, I'm enlightened. I take the messaging and enlightenment from it. Mm. And then I won't touch that substance for another year, two years. Because I don't need to. Like, okay. It's not a, a thing you abuse. And that's where people go wrong. They mm. think, oh my God, that high. And then they're yeah, chasing. Yeah. They chase it, bitch. They're chasing that. They're chasing that red dragon. Yeah. They're chasing that feeling again. And it's like, you're never going to have the same feeling twice. If I like something, I like something. Ooh, that's dangerous. That's why I don't do any. I can't yeah, read maybe my, it's not I read my Bible then. and I will drink water. No, yeah. but I, I feel like for me personally, if something has a nice feeling, I like it. And I'm like, yeah, I but like you it. know what? With LSD, it's different. Like, it's a nice feeling, but it's intense as fuck. Mm. And it's like you have highs and lows and highs and lows, and it, it's really up to you as a spirit to, to discern like how you're going to deal with that. Mm. Certain things are going to be revealed to you that you're not going to like. 
I was very like the first couple of times I took it, I was I was ha- overtly triggered. I was like, what the and you fuck? Kept, and you kept going back, and I kept going back because I liked it. I, I was like, I like the fuckery. I like that you're exposing me to myself Self. like this. Like no person in this world could Can expose me to me the way that substance did. You. Yeah, yeah. Like my yeah. own my own imagination did it to me. Yeah. Like people say, oh, don't look in the mirror. I will trip, I will get at my peak, the peak of the trip. I'll be like, bitch, I'm going in the bathroom and I'm mm. going to the mirror. And I'd look at myself and I'd be like, oh. Do you know what's mad? Like, I think there's six people that can tell me no. Six? Yeah. That's Mom, a lot of people. Yeah, there's six people that can tell me no, but they're like all obsessed with me. They love me to bits. So I feel like they're not going to tell me no for their mm. gain. Okay, got you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Mumsy, Uncle Shegu. <laughs> <laughs> um... And then I think my sister yeah. and I think like three friends. See, I, I feel like know. when you get to a certain level in life. Like if they say no to me, I feel like I've missed something. There's obviously so because you need to understand with me, yeah, I'm like fully indulgent. Mm. When I'm into something, I want to smell it. I want to feel it. I want to like, I don't try to take things in bits. If there was mm. a bag of sweets, mm. I'm not doing one a day. I'm like, okay, I'm going, I might do five. I won't say all of it, yeah. but a younger me might do all of it. Yeah. But like, I, I, I like to enjoy myself. I like to like, <laughs> like, like let's jump in kind of yeah. thing. And so with that, sometimes I think I can override common sense or whatever. I just, you know, mm. I just enjoy myself kind of thing. But like a lot of the people around me, I feel like they're a little bit more, like I'm very optimistic. Mm. I'm very like um, positive. Don't get me wrong, I can be a moody cow sometimes, but I'm very optimistic. The people around me, though, they're, like, different. They're, like, grounded, realistic. Yeah. So when they say something, I was like, okay, I've missed something. My optimism I... is playing something down. So I will listen to them because I used to think, no, let me be the source of all the knowledge. In reality, sometimes it is God sends that knowledge to you. I, I don't know. I won't say I'm not going to put this on God, but, like, through people. There's mm-hmm. people that have skills or knowledge or ways of thinking that are just different from yours, but they're, they're your friends. They're your people. And yeah. you can ask them to do you know what I mean I'm not saying you should be outsource your independence yeah but I just feel like I'm always going to be optimistic I'm mm-hmm. always going to find a situation that I find a bit challenging um that for somebody else is super easy yeah so I might just ask them for their point of view their perspective mm-hmm. so when I say there's like six people that I feel like say no there's six people who have a proven track record of <laughs> giving me advice that benefits me mm. you know what I mean so, I feel like with me and my setup like I was the first in my family to break a lot of generational curses. Mm-hmm. I was a, the first in my family to, to reach a certain peak of financial freedom. I was, mm-hmm. a, I was the first to break a lot of barriers in my, um, my bloodline. So for me, it's different. No one can tell me no. Mm-hmm. And I don't say that from an arrogant place. Yeah. I say that because I really worked for everything I've built. Mm-hmm. So no one can come in my ear and say, oh, I don't think that you should. Well, have you done what I've done? No, you haven't. So therefore, like, respectfully, you can't really talk to me yeah, about what I'm trying to do because you haven't done it yourself. Yeah. I can't take advice from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might have people that may be able to give me spiritual advice that mm-hmm. will keep me grounded. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like saying no... Well, when I say no, I mean that spiritual advice. Yeah, like that's what I mean. I definitely get spiritual grounded from my my parents. Yeah, that's I what I mean. I get spiritual grounded from my from my friends, from God, yeah. from from elders, one hundred percent. But in terms of like taking risks, I've always been that. Yeah, I've always been that raggle one that's like, oh, I might just go a mile further than everybody I've, else. I probably think everything's with, gonna work with, out with, for me. With, 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 <laughs> positive intentions yeah of course and if it fucks up it's on me but oh, if, yeah, it, yeah. but I if I make profit like. though it's on me <laughs> so no one chat to me because I'm taking these risks by myself yeah. and like I'm I'm a physical I'm a, a um, like I'm an experienced person like I learn you from experience learn, yeah in uni, that shit wasn't going to work. Like, you're trying to tell me what to do. I can't. I'm sorry. Only God can tell me what to do. I need to do it myself. She said only God can tell me what to do. No. I need to experience it. I, I really thrive off being uncomfortable and, be, and being in unknown situations and educating myself and learning from experience. Mm. That's really where I vibe from. So, I don't know, man. God, just give me a rebel spirit. Like, I'm built to break rules. I don't know what it is. I've been battling with this since I was a child. See, I feel like, I feel like you, you're oh. obviously... Winning, because for me personally, I'm definitely a bit. I want like I don't like the word chaotic. I want to speak good words into my life, but I'm definitely very like I'm curious AF. Like I am yeah. so curious. Yeah. I feel like telling me something isn't the same as me experiencing 100%. it. One hundred percent. But I'm also really sensitive. So you see that that failure or that getting it wrong hits. 
But why does it hit if failure teaches you more than the win? Because for a very long time, I didn't know that failure was useful. Mm. It was something I fleed from. It was something I hated. Like, for me, it was such a bad day if I yeah. failed at something. And then I think only, honestly, only in the last, I would say, seven months am I realising that there's probably more value. People say it, but I don't believe them. I thought that's what they just say. Yeah. But it actually it actually will do more for you if you look at it the right way. 100%. Do you know what I mean? And when I say... And it takes vulnerability to admit that. So big up you. Oh, yeah. Big up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no man the hard lessons yeah they oh, sound shit. cute in the movies and the disney show but they but in are real life it's in mad. real life it's hard and when i'm the eldest in my family as well yeah mm -hmm. and honestly i don't know how i'm so i don't know how i'm so sorry that's basil <laughs> i don't know how i'm so like uh curious and all of that stuff but at the same time I'm s I can be so scared yeah and, and, and see that's i had I to i had to dead the fear bro i like Sorry. I had to That's dead mental. the fear, like, I had to dead it, because once I started doing things by myself, like, travelling by my... Do you travel alone? Yes, I have, yeah, yeah, Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do enjoy it. I love my alone time. Oh, like, it's very... fucking love it. It's my like, favourite thing to do. I don't think the people around me love it, though, but I love my alone time. Yeah, I need to man. withdraw into that to be me. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, like, it's so important. Like, travelling alone really helped me define who I am, and it helped me to understand like certain things, for you to elevate to certain new levels, you have to be willing to take in different risks. Yeah. And sometimes you can't do that in a group as much as you'd like to. Some missions are only built for you, not because you're being selfish and you don't mm. wanna bring everybody with you, but because God needs you to be alone, mm. for you to catch that download, for you to elevate so you can give the people you love what they deserve. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not every journey is meant for a group. Some and then they're meant for only you. Mm. And you have to be brave enough to go through that and trust the divine that you're not being led astray, that you're actually being led to what you deserve. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of the times I feel like fear, which is not a real thing, holds us back from us claiming our full potential. 100%. And I fucking 100%. hate that because it's like, what's at the other end of fear? Success. Mm. What's at the other end of fear? Even if you fail, you lessons yeah. like experience mm. wisdom mm. so is it really that bad but or this, is the failure fair but it's sometimes it's like i think there's this there's so many things that make fear very real yeah that's true like the idea that you should be sorted out and successful by 21 months I hate that. <laughs> like how you should um know what you're doing you should know where you're going if you don't you're you're messing up mm -hmm. how like comparison like there's so many things that make fear really real and we come from a generation before and that doesn't always know how to talk to us about these things, mm. you know? So we're actually, everyone's gone through it. But okay, and deep then, what you just said, we come from generations that didn't know how to talk about it. So the, that means yeah. that they didn't have a safe space to allow themselves to really harness their own energy to follow their passions. Yeah. And if they didn't have that, then they should be able to recognise, okay, if I'm, if I'm about to have kids or if I have a, you know, a bloodline of, of the future generation, then I should provide that safe space rather than project that that thing of lack onto them that will then make them project that onto somebody else that's do, that's trying to follow their dreams. Mm. Rather that, would you not prefer a space where, or have a parent where they're like, you know what, I oh, couldn't yeah, I afford to, yeah. to follow my own dreams, so I want to support you in whatever you want, even if that means that you're 21 and you haven't achieved what the world says mm. you should have achieved. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I feel like the older generation forget that we have genetically downloaded their trauma and saying that it's like okay if you haven't addressed that you have trauma to begin with mm. then it's just going to be a vicious cycle you're going to be angry at me for following my dreams when you were the one that gave me the trauma mm. like if we're really being honest do you feel like you, so that's something you experience and has over 100 percent. and as here, africans yeah, like yeah. i feel like that's, that's something we all experience and it's time to wake up mm. smell the coffee and break the generational mm. cycle because i'm not about to keep doing this for y'all even if it means like having to g-check my parents which i have done a couple of times and be like yo big man i know you've had more life experience but that doesn't mean you're more skilled remember when i was tell telling you this the other day just because you've had more years of life does not mean you're more skilled mm. at life mm. i've only been on this earth for 26 years i'm humble i know I, i've made many mistakes i still have a lot to learn i still have a lot to become to overcome but what i know is that i'm not afraid 
if I make mistakes, okay, then I, that's one more way of knowing how not to do it and how better to rectify my mistakes. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of the times the elders, they use ageism to kind of try and manipulate and and limit your access to a, a space that they're not familiar with yeah. or that's outside of their comfort zone mm. so that they can have this fake power over you when in reality it's like if you would just put your ego aside and just support the fact that I'm trying to do something that you weren't brave enough to do, yeah. then maybe you could join me at the end of it where it's success yeah. or whether it's failure, whatever it is. Like if I'm your, if I'm, if you really fucking with me like that, you would be supporting me regardless. Yeah. And that's why I don't, a part of me doesn't want to have kids because I don't want to even risk being in a situation where I'm projecting anything but love. Mm. Like if I'm not ready to really put my ego aside and, and focus solely on your light energy and what I can do to improve you, then I don't think I'm worthy of having children because I don't want to traumatize you. Yeah, I know what that feels like and it's not a nice place to be, you especially from your the people that birthed you. Yeah. I, I didn't think, ask to be here. I think especially when they even try to avoid that, it's just it's oh, such a, it's just so jarring it's because so it's like, why are you avoiding this when it's real life? No, I, I mean, need I mean, you to address it. I feel like even our generation would try to avoid traumatizing our children, no. and I feel like it would still it's still likely to happen because it's it's human. Like, mm. It's human. God forbid, we're not traumatizing our children. But amen. guess but what? What makes it easier is conversation, yeah. honesty, and understanding. Yeah. Putting your ego aside and being vulnerable with your so child. If you know all of you this. Know? I'm not trying to force you to have a you, by the way. Do do what's best for you. But like, if you I know think all I would be a cute, a cute, a cute pregnant lady. Can't lie, but I would have to be married for all of that. That's long. Come on. I'm not. I'm not being not, a baby mom. Not, tra not traditional DDB. Come on. Can you imagine? <laughs> What Yo, happens? I, what happens I, to the modern day? What's it? Monogamous. Modern, modern <laughs> mon monogamous. <laughs> mon 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 hey, the English has left me. My mon gosh. But literally, I want to thank you so, so much for Girl. coming through. Like, I think we've had a great four hours <laughs> together. It's, it's been delightful. It really, really, really has been. So thank you so much. Thank you for your openness, your honesty, your unapologetic stance. It was probably the thing I like about you the most, honestly. <laughs> like, it's a key character in anyone I've been on, this, on my show. Like, how how unapologetic are they? Because it just makes for the best, I think, yeah. sh um, sharing of knowledge. So thank you so much. Thank you so um, much, How waves are you? Huh? How waves are you? I'm good. Do you want to go for another five? Oh, you finished? And that's the end of the show. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> Girl, are you crazy? Hey, are you seeing the bunda? My gosh, this I is I don't even think the bunda is really bunda. Organic. Is Bitch, don't do that. Organic. Girl, this is organic gun. We brush. didn't even talk about the... Okay, sorry. What, real quick. Can we, can we jump back in real quick? Real quick. I'm sorry. I know everyone's... Go on. Like, you don't think somebody can get work done and still have self-worth? <sighs> Should we get into that? Let's get into it. Sorry, I actually totally forgot and it came to me. Yeah, because that's an important question my... because... No, because that's, that's, that's the point. That's, that's an important I mean, question. I mean, I get where you're coming from, but... Do you think that's possible? I think... Like, what would possess a girl to get surgery? I don't... I think you're under... think that's uh, self-love. No, I don't... Okay. I don't think... Okay. 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 I'm if, sure we're being, if we're being Are honest... Are we filming, by the way? Is yeah. Is this live? Okay. Great. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. I personally feel like the simple answer is no. Bet. All right, but then with everything, you want to apply situations, right? So let's say she just like let's say okay, she, her body changed drastically. Why are we applying? Why are no, because, we applying? Because you can't talk about something nah. you haven't experienced. Listen, it's very easy for me to like nah, deep that is something I wouldn't. Babe, just deep. You said to begin D -D with. D D B. D D B. Yeah. D D B. D D D B. Okay, no, be the best advocate. I don't even think I'm the best advocate. Listen. I, I I've seen. I like the direction you're going because it is true. Like, what if like you had like something? Something. No, I'm not. I'm not even talking about like. If, I think if change. if you were like if like you if there was an accident or whatever, I don't think anyone should judge you for trying to get some semblance of your reality. Yeah. No, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, let's make it more superficial because that's what we're really talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, make yeah. it more superficial. Yeah. I feel like we just saw about five, ten years of girls going to get BBLs. Um, Can we state the reason why? You, okay, you can't say No, 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 you go ahead. Okay, I'm going to say, and then if you agree, whatever. Because that was the body shape of the moment. The body shape of the moment was figure eight. Who said that? Exactly, right. It's a trend. It's a trend. It has... Okay, so who set the trend? I said, would it men? Would it be men? Okay, so, so, so you, I'm so not what, no, 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 that. I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to evaluate what you just said. One, yeah. So what you just said yeah. is that because men think 
a specific body type is mm -hmm. the trend. Mm -hmm. You're now telling me that women are following that trend that men set for women. Mm -hmm. So now they should go and get surgery mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. do all this nonsense to their body mm -hmm. to now fit the criteria of what men desire rather than embracing what God gave them mm -hmm and loving themselves internally so that they don't have to change their physical aspect and being happy with how they were born. So these were all a bunch of words that didn't come out of my mouth, but I, I hear what you're saying. What I'm trying to say, yeah, is that, cause I was just following the line of trade. So let me, let me land, yeah? Go on. So in my opinion, yeah, men started this desire. I don't even think all men have this desire. I don't think a lot of men can handle the, the level of bunda that they're saying they can handle anyway. Facts. I think they would be buried underneath it right so they're saying that oh yeah this is the body shape blah 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 blah, blah yeah they're making their partner who <laughs> may, might not have that body shape feel like this yeah. is the body shape it's making her feel like she can access because a lot of girls access a different quality of life mm. once they got whatever body shape then you had the kardashians and all of them things you know there's a yeah. there's a whole environment that 100%. is feeding a lot this of insecurity right so yeah in that situation absolutely agree with self worth. what i'm talking about is more so like once it existed I remember it's run away from man now. Like mm. men, men are like I don't understand where we're at now. You know when it gets to like that, that I don't want to. They're like almost like the super mongous, uh, like ant back here. When it gets to that level, is that rude? I was trying, I was trying no, to. No, no, no. It's it. just being yeah, little. The, the ant back here. When it gets to like that, men are like yo, we're not even talking about. So it's run away. I think it's because it created a body dysmorphia, where if you don't see this this the girls that even have shape if they have dips or something it's, it's like it's crazy the reason why i've always hesitated to talk about this is because this has not been my particular battle so i don't understand that reality i try to empathize with that reality of genuinely not having clothes made for you genuinely feeling not attractive because whatever you're right the, the argument is not about self-worth of course mm. you've obviously felt like something's lacking to go and risk life because apparently um, BBLs are like the most dangerous yeah, surgery, surgery ever. Yeah, surgery you can have. But, wow. But my thing is, wow, sorry. Do you sorry. know how sad that is? But, but my thing here is like, are we, why are we not focusing, like rather than labelling people lacking self or whatever, why are we not focusing on actually like understanding the mechanisms that's bringing it about and demand, like, you know, breaking that down? I feel like it's so easy to just like laugh at people or point fingers. I'm like, yo, okay. for you to go under the knife because... Okay, this is what is the issue. Women are using surgery as a way of saying, oh, I love myself, I value myself, I'm confident, I, 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 I practice self-worth and self-love. When in reality, like my sister said, you're actually practicing self-hate because for you to risk your life to put something foreign in your body that doesn't belong in your body, that your body eventually is going to reject and your nyash will start leaking eventually. Mm. You like, it's going to affect your health. Somewhere, somehow, some, if it's not a day, two days, a year, three years, some, somewhere along that line, yeah. you're gonna have to get them replaced. And even getting them replaced is gonna be a whole other procedure. Like you're not realizing the mental strain and the mental damage you're actually doing on yourself rather than you just going to the gym and working hard for the de for the desires you have okay so because compare it imagine me the body that i have i love my body i'm yeah. natural like i don't have the biggest nyash i don't have the biggest breast but i love what i have mm. like i'm confident i have hip dips like i have a nice size nyash like it's it's great the, the, the niggas love it the bitches love it too like i love it you know what i'm saying but imagine now i went to get a bbl now i look like an aunt I look like all of these baby bitches. Like, I look like mm. all of y'all. Like, I'm not even unique anymore. I'm just another blueprint of this thing, this entity that men have created and, and have convinced created. us that is the beauty standard when black women have always been the beauty standard, no matter how uh, what our size is. Okay, so what do you think about filler? Filler? I tried lip fillers once mm. in 2019. I tried it once, and I, and I tried it once, and I didn't go back. Okay. Because I was like, okay, like yeah this is cute but or would you say that that was self self um i think that was or that think, was do you think if the smaller it is the that less... was exploration for me personally because okay. i just wanted to try it and see what it what it would do mm -hmm. i liked it but again like i just felt like i, I kind of liked myself how i was so yeah. i just let it all dissolve and when it was time when i got back to normal i didn't go back because i just felt like 
it taught me that that's not who I am and I didn't really like, mm. it didn't really make a change. I didn't really feel any different. So do you but then in oh. me comparison to my friend that did it too, mm -hmm. she wanted to keep going. Mm. Like she was like, yeah, let's, let's go together. That crackhead energy. And I'm like, what is that? No, but girl, I'm being serious. Like <laughs> surgery is a trap for insecure women. And when I okay. did that, I realized, wait, I'm secure. Like, I don't really need to do this. Like, I have naturally set good lips. I don't really need to be adjusting and doing things that is not by God because God mm. made me the way I am for me to yeah. accept myself. So, like, why you know am I, I is? I think, trying I think, to reject who I am? I think the reality of the situation is, is that obviously there's insecurity there. There's something you want to change. Mm. I don't know what the definition of insecurity is, but my understanding is, like, a sense of lacking yeah, in something. Yeah, I would yeah? say so. So... Yeah, and I think because it, the word of it sounds so dismissive and harsh, and because I know there's a whole system working to make people feel that way. 100%. And because I, right now, that system isn't attacking me, but when it changes, because it will change, to maybe like more or less slim girls, whatever, I'm now going to feel the weight of that pressure. How would I react to it? And the bottom line is I feel like sometimes there's, in, in the pursuit of um of of identifying what's wrong we sometimes start to like actually bully or like be really really harsh for instance mm. if there's a girl out there yeah, who wish she had don't change your stance i'm not saying that let's not water down the truth but sometimes i just think of like that girl that's watching is like i wish i had imdb blues body man i saw her dance video man it was sick it was amazing i wish i had that body i can't i've gone to you in bad hands man this is not seeming to work for me i can't afford a pt or whatever 6k i'll go get i don't know how much it is but 6k i'll go get something all right you see the example he just gave yeah. me go on do you know how much i could do with 6k no. you don't need to put silicone in my body I when know. i can just change the dynamic of how i work out to be more specific to mm. the area i'm trying to train do you think i'm Koi, making excuses for Koi, you? you are set so good like you have the dream body like certain girls no certain girls would pay for i'm telling you right now straight up you're naturally set good that's great you know what I'm saying? Even the universe ignores you. That beat. <laughs> so yeah. wait, is that what you mean? The universe yeah. every time you have a beat. The sound and everything. Go. It's the, okay. the universe is. Mm. Go. Do you know how much you could do with these investments? Girls are going under and having these life-threatening treatments for prices. They could actually set up a whole business that would change their legacy for a lifetime. But can't you? But doesn't that show to you the pressure that's being applied no, to their head? No, babe. Top? It They're, shows me the lack of confidence you have within yourself. But do you think that lack of confidence was inherent in them or do you think it's literally f fed to them? It's fed like... to them. Like my sister said, it's society. And it's also the female not practicing self-nurture. And instead of practicing self-nurture, you would rather nurture men that are abusing you and are, and are indoctrinating these beliefs into you rather than you be like, listen, you know what? If you like big batty girls, there's a bunch of strippers in Miami you can go and check and do that thing with. Me, I'm gonna stay humble. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really nurture this relationship I have yeah. with God. Yeah. And I'm going to learn to work with what I have. Mm. That's what, that's my issue. Like, mm. girls are so quick to risk their life yeah, no, I'm for something you. physical rather than just sitting down and be like, okay, I might not have the biggest body, but what would having the biggest body for me do anyway? It's just going to attract a bunch of thirsty niggas that just want to fuck me. Is that really what I want? And I'm not saying that all girls with big gnashes are like that. Because some girls, like you, like my good sis Jen, you lot are set good naturally. You don't even need no BBL. You look like you have a BBL from birth. That's lit. We all aspiring for that. But it's like, you've got to look at the intention behind the action. Yeah, Am course. I getting this work because I want attention from men? It, okay, so if I'm getting this work because I want attention from men, so what does that say about where I'm up to right now? Mm -hmm. I'm lacking something. Mm -hmm. So that means I need to do internal work, not external work, because mm -hmm. that's not going to fix it. Mm -hmm. You might have a big nash after the surgery. It might look good and natural and, and great, but when you stand next to a real body girl set good that trains in the gym, you're still going to feel that same insecurity because you know you haven't worked for you paid for it yeah. and, and and i'm more so less concerned about bullying and and isolating girls that have done that and have made those choices yeah. and more so focus about their mental health like that's really where the 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 illness is for you to think that okay if i fix this and if i get this surgery all my problems are going to go away you're mad because yeah. i know girls i've had bbls and they've told me like girl if 
I, I wish I hadn't done this because now I want to be skinny again. Mm. And now I can't be because it's fucking merged with my, my, with my fat and now I can't get it out. Like, do you know how sad that is? No. All like, because you I couldn't... I agree. Like, like, I agree that if the intention behind whatever you're doing is rooted in the sense of lack and it's to gain... But just even deep that though, Koi, I really need you to get to the root cause. Like, do you honestly believe that there's any girl in this world that has had a BBL that has done it because ha, that has done no, it without yeah, the intent, no, without no. the in, what's the word that I'm, that I'm looking for? Without the influence no, no, of a man. No. There's no such thing. Because if, if you really did it for yourself, you would go to the gym. Because yeah. what's the point in having a big nesh but you can't even lift your own body weight? All right, so um, you're going up the stairs with your big BBL, about, but you can't. You're out of breath by what the, the twelfth step. Women that had ute dems and so she, they were trying to regain their shape back. That I can understand more, but still, if you've just risked your life having a ute, mm. and you understand the severity of natural birth or a cesarean or whatever, why then would you put yourself through a procedure that would risk your life again, not through birth? Mm. You just had a baby. Mm. What if you die? Yeah. Then your baby has no mama. And that's to go into the doctor. Like, I don't think girls are deep in the consequences so of their actions. this is specific action. to BBLs. This isn't for all procedures for you. This is like procedure. What's the difference between procedures? Like, oh, so, I'm mean, like, so like a breast reduction to you doesn't hold the same meaning. I mean, shit, it? if someone has a massive breast and they want to get it redu reduced. Because mm. I, 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 the intention behind it is their, their well-being. Yeah, of course. Right. Like, yeah. if it's too heavy I for you no and it's uncomfortability, that. of course, who can argue against that? No it's your body, that, your choice. Like, and even the BBR girls, it's your body, your choice. But 100%. if you are only making choices because of the opinions of men, then I'm telling you or right now. Of you. Yeah, it's yeah. just, eventually you're going to regret it. I and think, not because I said so, because it yeah. just shows that you're unwilling to deal with your mental health mm. and you're more willing to indulge in the physical, fleshly aspect mm. than rather get into the root cause, which is the lack of confidence or lack of nurture you had as a child, which is now affecting you as an adult and now is making you project this thing where you think that the flesh is going to replace the spiritual lack when it ain't. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Like, no, I, I, listen, absolutely, I cannot disagree. Like, I cannot disagree. I still haven't found a reason for Smart. BBL other than to gain attention. The reason why I don't, the, the reason why I don't maybe s come with a harshness with it mm. is because I'm just so aware of how many forces are working on every individual brain I to make them feel you. like they deserve it. And I don't know if me applying an extra layer of pressure is going to do anything to undo that. I just feel yeah. like it's just going to make them feel even more targeted. But, but I here's the thing, yeah, where I'd have to agree, no, where I have to disagree is this, the, the example these girls are setting, especially the girls we're following, mm. you're making the younger generation think that what you're doing is normal and it's not normal. Yeah. And now I don't care who you are, yeah. how much following you have or how harsh it is, bitch, life is harsh. And if we don't tell the truth, these younger girls are going to think that getting surgery is normal and getting surgery is not normal. Mm. My mama is set, set good at 60. She never had one needle, one nothing in her body. Mm. She still set good. She could take anybody's man. My mum is set good. Mm. But it's like, you're now setting an example to the younger generation that this is normal and this is the norm and, and, and it's not. Yeah. Because look at Halle Berry. That's the example I always think about. Halle Berry is a natural thing sexy skinny she will snatch everybody's man don't don't uh, uh, hallie don't do it yeah, i like that other lady like What's nia long is she called nia long oh, nia long the okay, she megan the good recently. they're all natural who's that old like she's 60 and her Pizza. son did a joke with her about angela yes angela, angela, angela bassett who's that oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. she's yeah how but you're also talking about like some elite genetics over there as well man it's a beautiful of thing of course to girl but you know but what it, it is it's like it. consistency and discipline this I is what it. girls don't want to practice i think as a generation yeah consistency like, and discipline is not you is want not... things you want instant gratification you want instant growth you want instant this instant that but instant things don't last a lifetime they don't they don't add they don't mm. age well so fair. it's like fair no listen it all starts harsh within truths, man. harsh truths i have a tendency to like think about the person we're talking about and how they're mm. feeling but the truth does remain and like the reality of it is if what you're doing is rooted in because there is no objective of course Come on, but the, yeah if what you're doing you know is rooted saying? in appeasing some strangers we've already thought, failed yeah yeah we, yeah you see, you see after the fact you see after they get the bbl 
girls you see what type what, what how, how they react yeah. Yeah. you see it wearing yeah. them literally it's sad yeah. it's gonna lie to my eyes or do like, it's like mm. it's sad it's sad and then Gah. you're going through all these health complications yeah. to still project yeah. onto a natural bitch that is just set good like that when you you know what you could have done you could have just been honest with yourself mm. bang gym the right way ate clean been disciplined for three years for what if it takes three years at the end of the day when you got a juicy nyash mm. when you got a juicy a juicy shelf no one can chat to you and you can actually flex and throw it back and be like yeah bitch this is all my also, homegrown honestly what? honestly if it's that's if a different it, kind if of gravy. It's men i need you to understand that like not every man like even men are feeling forced to like bum a lot of them like some of them don't like bum big man some of them <laughs> some of them like they don't, elbow, some of them like being yeah, kicked yeah, some yeah, of them like yeah. being they're yeah. having their eyebrow head chewed like people like different things like we need to stop thinking that there's a one type of man mm. and one type of woman big man like oh my gosh like that like is bum. pardon even if they like, bum, they even if like, they like right if they like bum like like not having needles and and scalpels and that because mm -hmm. you know what the maddest thing for me is well when all the bbl things started i was just like oh man the first explorers are gonna look mad and then it obviously got better and then i'm hearing like we don't know what the side effects are of this you know we just don't know what the reality of it is and there's a lot of people that are like they've been the guinea pigs mm -hmm. and now the maddest thing the shift has shifted the shift is, you can see it in real life, bro. The shift has shifted. So it's like, you have to be careful to not make your physical being a trend. I feel mm -hmm. for people there because I know the extent of the pressure that is on men and women to yeah. feel some sort of type. And I feel for them, man. Mm -hmm. Honestly, and that's why I feel like there's certain things that I have to be gentle with how I speak about I it because you. there's so much working. If it, yeah. imagine if you've had your man laugh at you that day, your girl's got bum, and all of a sudden she got this, and there's a whole environment mm. that tells you you're not good enough, and then I flog you for doing what you know. Maybe it was a quick whatever, but I flog you for what for what other people showed you was the solution. Mm. I'm like, yo, this is just compounded pain, you know. Literally. But it doesn't make you wrong. It doesn't make what you're saying mm. wrong. Yes, if you change your body to look more like a sex doll for the ideas of some sort of man, scary times. Scary, yeah, scary times. Man, I didn't even want to say space to be this safe, man. Like, it's, it's scary. Oh, Come out. on, bro. Come on, man. This Come is wavy. <laughs> Let me so much go. Listen, I go by the name of IMDDB. Come on. Make sure you fucking stream this shit. Yes. Like, subscribe, comment. Come if on. If you comment in any fucking hate, I swear to God, I will find you and get your YouTube page taken down or fucking playing with, bitch. This is Koi and IMDDB. Boys will be boys and held accountable for their fucking actions. Yeah, we're both wearing black owned businesses. Come the on. King brand out now. Bitch, stop fucking playing with us, bitch. Come on. Like that. <laughs> All right, and I'm really going to start fucking and selling food. Listen. As well because. Don't do that. But you're not. Wendy's going to start harassing your line. Okay, she's going to cook some Portuguese. I'm going to cook food, food for Koi. Mind your front. All right, then. But then I will tell you guys how it tastes. I have high expectations, you know what I mean? I don't know why I'm standing up. I've never stood up before for the end of the should show. I, should but I give him a little twirl? Because you're carrying, you know? No, guys, I don't, I don't want to be seen as that kind of person. I don't want to be seen as that kind of person. I want to be respectful. Do you know what, like, yeah? I was going to go into the splits, but I saw Timmy's face in the corner. <laughs> anyway, yo, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys got so much so love. Much out of that. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, love, 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 and stay tuned. More episodes coming. And also, make sure you go check out even more stuff on her channel. Where did the love go out now, bitch? Stream that. Bye. Stream it. Oh my gosh, can I say that? Can I say that? Yeah, That's go on. Go ahead. Okay. Where did the love go? Stream that now. Yeah. Cute. It's cute. That was cute, though. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Love. Yes! Um, it's a can wrap. I, can, I do the, can I do the intro real quick? Okay. Thank you, everyone. Can I do the intro real quick? Oh right, my god, cool. Kai, I've had so much fun. No, literally, it's been no, it's been amazing. It's been good fucking vibes, girl.